This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Coming off an unexpected open week thanks to Hurricane Florence, the Liberty Flames return to action this weekend in Lynchburg when they host the North Texas Mean Green on Saturday night. The Flames are 1-1 one one after a Week 2 loss at Army, but not playing last week's scheduled game may have been a blessing in disguise. I think it got us mentally ready. Uh, you know, a lot of guys bumps and bruises that had to get healed up. Um, you know, and then, you know, just getting in and watching film. You know, I think this week really helped us um, prepare for them. I watched the Alabama game, and I mean, I had to watch the North Texas game on my phone, so I was kind of multitasking the whole day. So that was pretty much it. It was like from the morning to the nighttime just watching college football. It's also worth noting the Flames are 4-2 and two under Turner Gill when coming off a of bye week, but the mean green machine is rolling into Williams Stadium with momentum. A week ago, North Texas routed Arkansas 44-17 to in a game that was never close. UNT is off to its first 3-0 and start in almost 30 years and has one of the best offenses in all of FBS. This is what you dream for. You dream for an opportunity for a lot of these young men to play at the highest level, not only play at the highest level, but have a home game that has so much meaning, especially early in the season. Coach Wimberley's defense will have its work cut out Saturday. The Flames must come up with an answer for North Texas quarterback Mason Fine. The junior is fifth in the country with more than 1,100 yards passing, eight touchdowns, and just one interception. He likes to get the ball out quick. Like when he gets pressure, he, he's not going to stand back there all day. He's going to, you know, t t tuck it down and run. And um, from what I've been watching on film, he's not a guy that likes to get hit. So it's going to be a, a crucial thing for us to stay in our pass rush lane and corral the quarterback. Of course, you got to have some pressure in the game plan to try to disrupt him. Um, but he does an excellent job in reading coverages. Uh, if he knows um, that you know the corner is going to play soft, or he knows uh, the safety is going to cheat to the field, uh, he you can see he has up in his mind that he's going to get that ball out. Fine doesn't zero in on one target. Seventeen different players have caught at least one pass for the Mean Green in their first three games. The run pass option is also a staple in the North Texas offense, similar to Liberty. Yeah, with our offense, we see it a lot. So I mean, we're we're well aware of what's, what they can do in that type of offense. So, I mean, it just prepared us for the good for this uh, team coming in. Flames quarterback Buckshot Calvert has solid numbers through his first two outings, throwing for 652 yards, six TDs, and only one pick. But he's looking to make improvements against the North Texas defense that's forced 10 turnovers with nine interceptions this year, the most in the country. You know, going all over the place with my feet, kind of uh, moving the pocket too wide for my uh, – Tackles, you know, constantly giving them, taking taking pressure off them. So, you know, working inside the, the framework of the pocket and then, you know, just continue to uh, find my receivers. And then, you know, when we have shots, I can't miss, can't miss any more shots. When we uh, have our opportunities to make plays in the run game, we got to make sure that, that we make them. Uh, in addition to when we have opportunities to throw the football down the field, we got to come down with the ball. We got to make sure we're throwing it. Uh, within uh, arm's reach. But I think the matchups of our secondary against their D, uh, receivers, vice versa, uh, there's going to be some key matchups that's going to happen, and we have to win those. There's going to be some 50-50 balls, and we got to win those. And winning the special teams battle will also be huge this week. North Texas return man Keegan Brewer won CUSA Player of the Week honors for this 90-yard punt return for a touchdown on what has to be known as the Fayetteville fakeout. That return gave the Mean Green a two-score lead and big momentum over the Razorbacks. Saturday night's game will kick off at 6 p.m. inside Williams Stadium. It'll be the first ever meeting between Liberty and North Texas. In Lynchburg, for the Liberty Flame Sports Network, I'm Nick Pierce.